Most people find subtraction to be the hardest operation when working with integers. Today, I'm gonna to show you two different ways that you can visualize what's going on with the integers. So we're gonna start with the number line. Now the number line is all the positive whole numbers and their opposites, which make up the, the integer number system. So when we are looking at the number line and we have an equation, the first number always tells us where we're gonna start on that number line. So I'm gonna start at four. Now subtraction, I always face towards the smaller numbers. The second number tells me how far I either walk forward or backwards. If I'm subtracting a positive number or a black number, I'm gonna walk forward. If I'm subtracting a negative number or a red number, I'm gonna walk backwards. So let's try this first one. I'm gonna start at four. I face towards the smaller numbers. I'm gonna walk forward two places. Therefore, four minus two equals two. Versus, if I start at negative four, that means I've got to start down here. I still face towards the smaller numbers. I'm subtracting a positive number, therefore I have to walk forward one, two. So negative four minus two is negative six. Lots of kids don't see that in their minds when they're thinking of that subtraction. So let's take the third one. I'm gonna start with a positive four. I'm gonna to face towards the smaller numbers for subtraction, but notice I'm subtracting a negative two. That means I have to walk backwards on the number line. So I'm at four, I'm gonna walk backwards two places, therefore four minus a negative two is six. And the last one I'm gonna start at negative four. I'm still gonna face uh, towards the smaller numbers and I'm gonna walk backwards two for that negative two Therefore, I get negative four minus negative two equals negative two. Sometimes it can be confusing, but if you remember that walking forwards and walking backwards, it helps you visualize what is happening. The second way we can uh, see how subtraction is working is with algebra tiles. Now we know that the black tiles represent our positive numbers, the red tiles represent our negative numbers. So if I have four minus two equals two, notice, my four I say is black because that's a positive number. My two I say is black because that's a positive number. And all I'm doing here is just that subtraction. So don't confuse subtraction with negatives. So the subtraction model is different than the addition model. Addition model, we always push together. Subtraction model, the first number is what we lay down. The second number is what we take away from that first number. So I put down four blacks. From that, I've got to take away, and it's two positives, so two blacks. So when I take away those two blacks, you can see I have two blacks left, therefore my answer is a positive two. If I have negative four minus a positive two, well, I'm gonna lay down my negative four, my reds. From that, I have to take away two blacks. I have a problem. I don't have two blacks to take away. So the only way I can get two blacks is to go back to the concept of a zero pair. And if we put together a positive black and a negative red, they cancel each other out, they equal zero. It's like nothing is there. So I need to keep this negative four. I can't do anything but keep it at negative four. But if I add a zero pair, I still have negative four because this equals zero. And if I add a second zero pair, I still have negative four, because that equals zero. But the magic of this, I now have two blacks I can take away, therefore negative four minus two is a negative six, because I have six red tiles. If we take a look at the next example, I have a positive four minus a negative two. Well again, I've gotta put those four blacks down because it's four positives. From there, I've got to take away two reds or two negatives, but I don't have two reds to take away. So again, I go back to that concept of the zero pairs. I pull over my zero pairs. I still have a positive four. A second zero pair. I still have a positive four, but now I've got my two reds that I can take away. I take away those two reds, 
and I can see that four minus negative two is a positive six. It's not what we think is gonna happen, but when we see it visually, we understand why it's happening. Now the last model is the easy one because I have four negatives, so negative four, so there's four reds, and I've gotta take away two of those reds. So I take away the two reds and I can see my answer is negative two. So whether you use the number line or the algebra tiles, it doesn't really matter as long as you're visualizing what's happening. Now, I have a trick that I use in pre-algebra and I always use it when I see subtraction. My trick is that I think it's a lot easier to add integers than it is to subtract. And so many people don't know that you can rewrite any a subtraction problem to plus the opposite. They mean the same things. So if I had seven minus two, we know that's five. But what if I change that subtraction to plus and that second number I take the opposite. So I have seven plus negative two. Well, I have my seven blacks, I have my two reds and I push them together, but you can see that I have two sets of zero pairs. That means they disappear, they're gone. What do I have left? I have left five. So whether it was a subtraction or it was plus the opposite, I got the same answer. Now, you may not choose to use that today, but I'm just setting that as something to think about because as you continue on in algebra, this could be a much easier model for you to use. So choose whichever method you like. Good luck, I think you'll do great with subtracting integers.